Hi Riders and Antagonists and welcome to a new chapter of Inside Riders. This time we'll talk about the second campaign of Riders of the Broken Planet, War of Fury, to better understand the context, the missions and the new characters. This time, Harek and his team of riders fight against the Umbra Wardogs, this faction led by General Mermelade, a megalomaniac who has proclaimed himself the Aleph Messiah and who has spoiled the Umbra Wardogs, turning them into little more than a trophied beast. In fact, Alicia has a story with the Umbra Wardogs and she knows well what General Mermelade is capable of. You can read Alicia's comic to understand what I mean. Harek's strategy is to weaken the human invaders by killing the leaders from all the factions, fighting for the control of the broken planet. This way, he hopes to instill internal fights within each faction, allowing the riders to complete their mission to banish the humans back to her. In the first mission, the riders will try to find General Mermelade and recruit Loath, a defector from the Umbra Wardogs who try to kill General Mermelade after his depraved Aleph experiments turn him into a raging beast. In the next missions, the riders will try to cut the Umbra Wardogs Aleph supply lines to force General Mermelade's hand and get a legendary relic which is rumored to be capable to find large amounts of Aleph and that could be the clue to find General Mermelade. But beware, because the riders aren't the only ones seeking for this relic. The Fifth Council is also looking for it. Still, the final fight will be against General Mermelade. Will the riders be capable of taking the control over the Aleph before it grants infinite power to General Mermelade? Now that we have talked about the story, it's time to speak about the characters. Harek will have new recruiters who can be decisive to get the victory thanks to their unique abilities. These characters, by the way, will be unlockable during the next months. Let's begin with Loath, a character you can get the same way as Shay in the first campaign, Ali Meets. Loath can transform himself into a powerful beast, perfect to pave the way among the orders. Doldren is a native from the Broken Planet, like Harek and Shay. The difference? His thirst for blood. He's lethal with a pistol or a sun machine gun, but even more deadly with his bare hands. Besides, Doldren can project his essence and attack his enemies at the most unexpected moment. Yune comes also from the Broken Planet and she's an Aleph Weaver who has huge mystic powers that allows her to put the enemies by her side and heal her teammates. Finally, we have Hive, a strange creature that General Mermelade found lethargic in an old temple. Hive's origins or its reasons to align itself with the Hard Expand remain a mystery, but she's an ally too powerful to question because she can infect her enemies with her pheromones, which will be later consumed by the creatures inside her body, regenerating her own vitality in the process. Besides all these characters, we are working to introduce new weapons, faction and character cards during the next months to expand the universe of the game. The new campaign of Riders of the Broken Planet is already available in your favorite platforms, full of new and exciting missions and characters you can use in all campaigns. We hope you enjoy this new adventure with the Riders and as usual, see you at the Broken Planet.